the 19th and 20th century witnessed a series of tribal uprisings throughout the India. They rebelled against many problems caused by the British rule, like the changes made in their laws, the restrictions on their practices, the new taxes they had to pay and above all the exploitation. One such notable rebellion is Munda rebellion. It included many tribal communities and they were brought under one number law by a tribal leader who was considered to be a savior. The tribal leader is none other than Birsa Munda. So to understand Munda rebellion, let us start by knowing who are Mundas. Mundas are the central Indian tribe. They are recognized as an immigrant tribe in Tirupura. So where is their original homeland then? See their original homeland was at Chota Nagpur. And these Mundas are proto asteroid tribe. And what about their language? Mundari is their language which belongs to Austro-Asiatic family. So this is about Mundas. Now who is this Birza Munda? See Birza Munda is a tribal freedom fighter belonging to the Munda tribe. And why is he so famous? Birsa arose the tribal mindset and mobilized them in a little town of Chota Angpur and revolted against the British. So he was a terror for the British rulers. Now let's know the cause of Munda rebellion and how it all started. Here you have to know that the Mundas followed the Kunkati system. Now what is this Kunkati system? See Kunkati system of the Mundas was actually a joint ownership of land or holding a land by tribal lineage. The Mundas usually cleared the forests and made the land fit for cultivation. So the land belonged to the whole clan and not a particular individual. And this joint land holding system is what called Kunkati system. Now what the British did was they replaced this egalitarian system with the zamindari system. So the outsiders entered the tribal landscape and started exploiting them. And the Mundas were compelled to work as forced laborers on their own land. Then poverty engulfed them like a suffocating chain. This is because at this time the great famine of 1895 broke out. Then what Birsa Munda did was he led the tribals primarily to prevent non-tribals from taking land. Also he wanted to prevent the Mundas from working as bonded laborers. So he organized his first protest march for emission of forest dues. Apart from this, in 1894 Birsa announced his declaration against the Bhutis and the Dikus. The Dikus were outsiders who exploited the tribal land. So this began the Munda Ulugulan. And this Munda Ulugulan is very important rebellion of the tribal people among the various uprisings of the tribals and peasants in India in the 19th century. And during this struggle, Birsa Munda managed to bring the tribal community under a single umbrella and asked them to re-establish their own kingdom. Birsa also advocated the tribal people to reject the missionaries and return to their traditional ways. Then he also asked tribal people not to pay taxes. And for these reasons, he was arrested in 1895 and released after two years. Then in 1899, he resumed his armed struggle along with the people. He raised police stations, government property, churches and house of Samindars. Finally, the British caught him in 1900 from Jamkopai forest, Chakradarpur. And Birsa Munda died on June 9, 1900 while lodged at the Ranchi jail aged just 25. Although the rebellion could not reach the decide end, it left a significant impact on the tribal movement of India. It showed that the tribal people had the capacity to protest against injustice and express their anger against colonial rule. And the British enacted the Chota Nagpur Tenancy Act 1908 and this act restricted the transfer of tribal land to non-tribal people. Thus, the Kunkati rights were recognized and as a consequence of this, the tribal won a degree of legal protection for their land rights. Because of all these efforts of Birsa Munda, presently he is being worshipped as Bhagwan in the state of Jharkhand. That's all this discussion we saw about Mundas, then about Birsa Munda and finally about Munda rebellion. To know more information like this, watch Hindu news analysis of Shankaraya's academy regularly. Thank you for listening.